XGMe is not a new brand name in the projector market, but I'm genuinely surprised that the Aura I'm reviewing today is the company's first ultra short throw laser projector. Considering how fast this particular segment has been growing over the past few years, the XGMe Aura is a fairly hefty unit with a large footprint. It is certainly not as nimble as the XGMe Horizon Pro we reviewed a few months ago. On the plus side, a larger chassis helps with airflow and ventilation, and from a normal viewing distance, we only heard a quiet hum whose frequency was easy to ignore. Three HDMI 2.0 ports with HDR10 and HLG support are provided, of which HDMI 1 is the Audio Return Channel or ARC. The XGMe Aura uses a 0.47-inch DLP DMD imaging chip from Texas Instruments, which achieves 4K resolution via mirror flashing techniques. Blacks were typical of DLP projectors, with its laser light source spec'd at 2400 ANSI lumens, but closer to 1600 lumens after calibration to D65 white point. Unlike some other recently released ultra short throw projectors which boast triple RGB laser technology, the XGMe Aura is only equipped with a single laser light source, leading to a DCI-P3 coverage of 83% UV and a REC2020 coverage of 64%. Five picture presets are available, namely movie, football, office, game and custom, with custom offering more user-adjustable settings than other picture modes. Compared to the JMGO U2, at least the XGMe Aura offers a single point white balance adjustment system once you set color temperature to custom, allowing you to remove the overly blue cast seen in all of the projector's picture modes out of the box. There is no color management system or CMS, so there's no way for us to rectify the inaccurate colors, but at least they are not as oversaturated as what we have measured on triple laser RGB projectors, so colors including skin tones in real world content didn't veer too much away from the realm of believability. The XGMe Aura doesn't provide any user adjustable gamma control and so the projector outputs fixed 2.2 gamma which can look a bit washed out in a dark room. But the good news is that the gamma tracking was linear, and so the projected image still appeared fairly natural. Like most other USD projectors, the XGMe Aura operates at 60Hz, and so slow panning shots in 24p movies would exhibit telltale telecynic judder due to 3.2 pulldown. Engaging motion compensation would smooth out the telecynic judder, but also introduce classic soap opera effect or SOE even on the least aggressive weak setting, as well as interpolation artifacts in complex moving sequences, so we prefer to disable motion compensation entirely, and put up with some telecynic judder which is mostly only visible during panning shots. This being a DLP projector at its core, some sensitive viewers may see rainbow effect or RBE, especially during fast motion. We've never been susceptible to RBE and so didn't see it on the XGMe Aura. We're not sure how many owners will still be watching standard definition or SD content on the projector, but according to our test, it is best to send a progressive video signal to the XGMe Aura for a couple of reasons. 1. The projector manifested minor flicker in the most detailed areas on this SMPTE RP133 test card in 576i not to mention some fizziness along high contrast ages. 2. The projector failed to detect and process 3, 2 and 2, 2 cadences in film-based interlaced material, so it is best to ask your source device to do the deinterlacing even though the XGMe Aura's video-based deinterlacing was quite decent, with only some jagged edges showing on the third bouncing bar. After testing the Vava Chroma projector which features unfeatable noise reduction, we very much appreciated the noise reduction control on the XGMe Aura, which lets you disable noise reduction completely to preserve film grain integrity. HDR presentation on projectors is very challenging at the best of times, since consumer projectors are simply incapable of reaching the light output of even an entry-level HDR television. The XGMe Aura delivered a bright picture for a projector, thanks to its laser light source engine, and ultra short throw form factor. Due to the way XGMe has designed its HDR tone curve, the projector could resolve even up to 4000 nits on test patterns, but in reality, 
the mid-tones were pushed too bright, leading to a washed-out HDR presentation that's lacking in image depth, as well as some clipping of bright highlight detail, especially in 4008 HDR movies. The default brightness setting of 50 crushed some shadow detail in HDR, requiring us to increase it to 52 on this black clipping pattern from the Ryan Masiola testis again in HDR10. However, because the SDR and HDR settings are shared in the only adjustable custom picture preset, the same brightness value of 52 would be carried over to SDR, which would raise the black level unnecessarily without any increase in shadow detail, so you would have to lower it to 50 again. Given the choice, I would probably just watch everything in SDR or standard dynamic range on the Xtreme Aura with the default brightness value of 50, rather than fuff about with adjusting settings every time I switch between SDR and HDR content. The Xtreme Aura supports 3D playback, but when we put up our own 3D resolution test pattern and manually engaged 3D mode, the 3D picture took on a blue cast which was present across all picture modes, and we doubt any 3D glasses could neutralize it to a watchable level, which is not helped by the fact that the white balance settings are shared across 2D and 3D. For gaming, input lag measured 45 milliseconds in game mode with a 60 frames per second video signal, which is probably at the more responsive end for an ultra short throw laser projector but there's some forced sharpening since most picture settings were not adjustable in game mode. In case you are interested, the Xtreme Aura also accepts 120 frames per second video signal at 1080p resolution, but judging from the fluctuating input lag, the projector is likely discarding frames to be fitted into its 60Hz refresh rate. The 60W Harman Kardon speakers on the Xtreme Aura sounded pretty decent, with sufficient clarity and bass for day-to-day -day viewing. Soundstage was a bit coned in though, so an external soundbar or even home theater system would definitely provide more immersion and oomph. The Android home screen is familiar and easy to navigate with responsive speed. We fired up the Netflix app, but whenever we tried to play a Netflix show, an error message stating that sorry, your account can't be used on this device would pop up, indicating that the Xtreme Aura is not certified by Netflix as a compatible device. Similar to what we did on the Xtreme Horizon Pro, we installed an app called Desktop Manager which then allowed us to install Netflix as if the projector was a PC device. Note the mouse cursor that we are moving around with the navigation pad on the remote control but the Netflix resolution was capped to high-definition SDR, which is obviously not ideal. So for better picture quality, you will have to use an external Amazon Fire Stick or something else to watch Netflix on the Xtreme Aura projector. To sum up, the Xtreme Aura is a decent foray from the company into the increasingly competitive ultra short throw laser projector market. It projects a bright picture, runs fairly quietly, and boasts respectable audio quality as well as responsive and comprehensive Android TV interface, even if native Netflix support was missing at the time we filmed this video in November 2021. However, like most USD projectors, the Xtreme Aura won't appeal to video files due to inaccurate colors, fixed 2.2 gamma, and telecynic jada in 24p films. To watch another of our technical projector review, Please click here for our playlist and I will see you in the next video.